my beautiful, beautiful people. So, back, let's rewind a little bit in the past. So, I don't know if you guys remember, but around December, my tube got blocked and I ended up being in hospital for a while and then I was having problems in my heart, so I had to stay longer. Um, and around that time when I was having problems, they were actually gonna place a pedge on that day when I got this NJ. But when we got down to the theatres, um, it was super, super booked and they said, hey look, we don't know if we're gonna have enough space and time to do the pedge. We might have to just do an NJ for now and then do the pedge a different day. So that's what ended up happening. Um, anyway, long story short, I didn't get the pedge, but it was meant to be January, like 100% it was gonna happen in January. But prior to that, anyway, it was like we were gonna get the pedge when we came here. So in November, I think it was like Black Friday or Cyber Monday or something like that, it was one of those days. I went onto a website called Tubi Woobies, which basically they sell like um, like circular pads that go like around your tube to help with like, I think it's growing, like, correct me if I'm wrong because I've never had a surgical tube, but I think it's meant to help with like, granulation tissue and leakage from your tube site and obviously it's gonna make your little your know, way your tube is look a bit more pretty and not just like a gross tube hanging out not that tubes are gross I mean they save lives like you know you know me I sometimes say the wrong things anyway long story short um I ordered this a long long time ago and I forgot about it and then they had shipping problems um, anyway, so they had this massive sale on the website, so I kind of went a bit crazy, and I thought, you know what, I might as well stock up now while they're cheap, because I think they're like 99p, um, no, 99 cents US dollars, whereas normally they can be like up to like $7, $5 just for one, so I was getting five for the price of one, and so on and so on. Um, and then they had the collections, which were, again, some of them were like $1.00. 99 and some of them were just 99p for like five pads so I kind of went a bit overboard and then after everything happened with my tube and we're like oh what if we're not getting them like what if I'm not getting a surgical tube I said well if I'm not getting a surgical tube um then I will do a big giveaway um where you guys can enter those of you who have surgical tubes can enter um and I will take pictures of the tubes the pads and then you guys can say which ones you want and why and I'll pick a couple different winners because there is a lot of pads here, guys. I don't know how it says. There's 30 different tubey pads. So, you know, I don't think it's fair to just give 30 away to one person. Um, if it's like the collections, I might give a collection away to one person. But, yeah. Anyway, let's open the box and let's see what we've got. Okay, good news is that they gave me a list of how much I paid for things. Um, so I can tell you exactly how much. So... This is the box, as you can see there's quite a few in here, um, like I said some of them are sets, some of them are just, oh my god I totally forgot that I got, I'm so excited, like if I do get a surgical tube in the next however many months, like before like Halloween and Christmas, I've actually ordered like autumn and like little Christmas tubey pads, I'm so excited, and there's a little EDS one as well, which is like a zebra because the um, awareness ribbon for EDS is a zebra print. I guess I'll show you them as I pick them uh, as I pick them up. So we got I've got quite a few awareness ribbons. Um, we got a little candy cane one. With little candy canes on it. Did get quite a few panda ones. I remember that because if you guys know me, you know that I absolutely adore pandas. They're like my all-time favourite animal. Like this is a uh, a leaf, like an autumn, uh, what do you call it, autumn leaf? Um, autumn leaf, I suppose. Um, then I got a pumpkin, which, if I'm completely honest, it didn't look this orange in the picture. Um, but regardless, I really, really love it. Ooh, we have another like Halloween-y type one. This one is um, like a black and white, black and white, black and purple like cat. Next we have another panda. So next we have a little burger. I think I did get, a, I think I got a couple of items of food just because if you can't eat it, wear it. So <laughs> that was a burger. Oh, we got another like Halloweeny one. I actually really like this one. It's like a little, 
uh, pumpkins. More food. Yummy french fries. I have like a little bunny for Easter. I mean, technically you don't have to wear this um, on Easter. Like you could just wear it anytime. Um, I think this, this completes the set of the panda. I'm not sure. This might have been a one that I bought separately, but again, it's a little panda. Um, next, this is actually a zebra print, not zebra, a zebra, like the animal. Um, also, because I, I wanted to get it so I could match with my little zebra print um, cheapy pad. Next, I have um, a little polar bear, so cute. Then we have a little princess crown. Um, and like I said, guys, if I don't get, end up getting a surgical tube, then all these will be you have the chance to win them if you have a tube next i have a set uh this was the round minion set i don't know why i said round they're all round um so this is what these look like i really like this one and this one next we have this really really cute little like starfish okay so next we have the disney princess set so we have lovely cinderella and I'm pretty sure these are meant for like, you know, little children probably, but I love Disney princesses and I thought they were so, so cute. And for $1.99, like, you can't not. Next we have Rapunzel. Um, I don't know if that's her actual name or not, but she's from the uh, movie Tangled. Sorry, it's hard to focus it when the light keeps catching it. Next we have Belle from Sleeping Beauty. No, not Belle. Uh, What's her name? Aora. Aora? Sorry, I can't pronounce her name. I don't know actually how you say it. Then we have Belle, and that's from, she's from Beauty and the Beast. Or Sleeping Beauty. Um, and then lastly, we have Princess Jasmine, if it's going to focus. Um, so, okay, next, like a little froggy. So cute. Sheep. I'm thinking that's a sheep. I actually don't remember half these, to be honest with you. It's so hard to see, but it's got like a little, it's meant to be like a little cappuccino. So cute, like a little Starbucks drink. Next we have like a little hammerhead shark. So cute. I don't even know the, like, when I would pick to wear these, but, you know, like in what situation would I wear a shark, but anyway. Then I got a couple of awareness ribbons. Um, I got a blue one. Uh, for pots, dysautonomy awareness, that's all blue, and then I also got a green because gastroparesis is green. Um, I guess I got those two. Uh, so we got these little Christmas, like a little present thing. Little presents. Um, then we got little gingerbread, a little gingerbread man. This is like a Christmas wreath. Again, so cute. And then also a little green snowman. Um, I think these are also so, so, so cute. Oh wait, no, we have another one. And this one, it looks like most of the design has actually been cut off with the stitching, but it's meant to be Christmas bells. And in the picture, when I was picking it, the bells were more like on the pad. So that's a little bit disappointing, but I know they had a lot of manufacturing issues. This one, and it says it's tough and then cookie, which I love. Like this one is like one of my favorites. I've seen other people wear this and I just thought it was so cute. Okay, lastly, sorry, this has taken so long. I'll hopefully when I edit this together, it won't be long, but this is 20 minutes of filming so far. I think I started rambling too much. It's the Harry Potter collection. So obviously if you guys are Harry Potter fans you'll know the characters but I'll quickly just say. Okay so this first one here, sorry I'm trying to not get the wrapping on, is good old Harry and it's young Harry, it's not like Harry now. Who is this? Next we have Sirius, not Sirius Black, um, what's his name? Snape, Professor Snape. Then we have good old Dumbledore, Professor McGonagall. Good old Ron. I'm pretty sure this is all from like the first films because he looks like what he looks like in the first films. My boy. And then we've got Hermione. Good old Hermione. I think it might be that creepy caretaker, to be honest, out of all the characters they could have picked. With his cat. I forget what his name is, but anyway, that is basically everything I got from the Chibi Woobies. Um, yeah. So it is quite a big pile 
of tubey pads but yeah let me know which one is your favorite down below and i'm hoping that didn't take too much of our vlog time i'm about to go cut tom's hair now um my throat's feeling better a little bit um but i need to take my antibiotics so Hey guys, so a lot of the time you ask of me um, to show you guys like more scenery of like what Australia looks like and stuff. So we can't, when it's not a beach, but it's like a lake. Like a lake. Um, Tom, we got Tom some lunch on the way and we thought we'd just come in. <laughs> Is it good? Mm. So good. Yeah. Not fan. <laughs> and fresh air. Looking good. Um, but yeah, I'll walk down and show you guys a bit more. But yeah, it's like a lake type thing. It's not a beach or anything. This is where we came kayaking. Fuck, I don't know if I vlogged that day. I don't think I did. Um, yeah, like obviously there are all the rich houses. <laughs> it's just like a really peaceful spot. It's quite relaxing as well. So, yeah. Just thought I'd come and show you that. And then, oh, if I can get up. And then after Tom's eaten, we're gonna go to the shops and see if we can get him a new suit for work. So, suit shopping. A blue one. A blue one. Navy? Don't know. Don't know. Well, we can try some and see what you like. What do you think? Oh, I think you look good, guys. How good out of 10 does Tom look? <laughs> look at you. Looking <laughs> good. About to pop a button there, buddy, though. <laughs> no, I like it. It looks smart. Like, if you don't want it too loose. I think it acts. Yeah, no, it's nice. It's a good quality shirt. Okay, get changed. I'm so tired, guys. <laughs> so, I'm gonna go have a nap. But before I nap, I want to show you what I got. I I know we went out for Tom, but I went past my favorite pajama shop, Peter Alexander. Well, it's pajama slash loungewear, so. Anyway, um, and the woman had a go at me. Hang on, let me close it up, let me tell you. <laughs> We shouldn't have a go, have a go, but she was like, you can't mix and match bottoms and tops. And I was like, right, well, I wasn't mixing and matching. I was just getting a different size bottoms. That's not really mixing and matching. Anyway, because basically I tried on age 14 and it was pretty big. So then I tried on age 12, which again was quite big. The bottoms, like the top fit better for the age 12, but the bottoms were still big. So I was like, oh, well, if I get age 10, the top will still fit and the bottoms will fit better as well so I kept the age 12 top and changed the bottoms to age 10 so it would fit better but she was like oh let me get you a fresh one and me and Tom looked at each other like for god's sakes so I ended up just getting age 12 like set because anyway yeah so I ended up just getting the whole 12 set but uh, like the set <laughs> um so yes I'll show you what you guys, guys, I'm, I'm in love with the pants more than, I was like, what the heck is this? It comes with like a little bag that, um, it goes in, like to carry it in, but the, the bottoms are just the cutest things. How cute are these? They're a little tight at the top and they're basically, they're long bottoms. Um, they don't grip at the bottom, the end, which sometimes I prefer, but sometimes I don't, but sleeping. Anyway, and then the top is just plain pink this cute little bow and you can tell it's definitely a kid's top because look at the neckline like an adult's neck collar would not look like that anyway and it's got this little um bunny coming out of the pocket and it's got a little pocket which matches their bottoms um i'll probably end up wearing the bottoms more on the top just because i feel like the bottoms can be worn by adults and children but i feel like the top is quite kiddie-ish but again i am sleeping it no one's gonna see it but me and tom so and he doesn't mind so <laughs> Um, but all in all, like, buying kids clothes isn't that bad, guys. Like, it's cheaper than buying adults. Like, this whole set was cheaper than buying one of the adults' pants, which I really, really wanted, but they're smaller sizes, but extra small, and 
it did well it didn't fit around the waist but it, the legs were just ridiculously long on it and i was just like oh short leg problems so i loved the bottoms and if they were my size and they fit the way i wanted then i probably would have got them but they were 69 dollars just for the bottoms whereas this whole set was only 59 so plus discount because they had a sale but anyway quickly before i have my nap though i wanted to tell you something funny my muscles have been hurting today because I tried to do a workout yesterday because you guys know I'm trying to gain muscle and stuff. So basically it was like, oh let's do a warm up first. It was like a nine minute workout but you don't have to complete the whole nine minutes. Anyway, so basically I did the first warm up exercise and then I thought, oh, it was just like one warm up exercise and then went on to the main workout. Anyway, the warm up finished and I was like, oh, I thought that was the end of the exercise and I was lying on the bed I was like, <sighs> I was like pure dying it was so bad and then it was like okay let's start your workout and I was like what I'm sorry what now I literally just finished the warm up and I'm dead so yeah I'm not gonna work out again I think I'll just stick to lifting my weights oh jeez yeah oh jeez Rick oh jeez <laughs> I couldn't help myself. If you guys watch Rick and Morty, you'll know what that's from. Anyway, I'll see you guys in a bit after my nap. <laughs> so I feel like having high pose is something that I don't really discuss that much, but it happens a lot. And tonight I've had like three in a row and it's just super exhausting. Especially when you struggle to get your blood sugars up and stay up. Like I can get them up, but they don't particularly stay up. They'll just drop again. And it's really exhausting. Um... But recently my blood sugar machine has been playing up and I'm going through a lot of um, cassettes, which are like these things. Um, so like to get maybe like one decent reading I might have to prick my finger and do like four tests and that's four. Like you want to get 50 in one of these. Um, and I can get them on prescription so it is cheaper than buying like it from a chemist because that is ridiculously priced. But anyway, yeah. So the um, machine that I have at the moment, ignore that, it's like feed or something. Um, it's the AccuCheck mobile one, um, which you don't need test strips for, so that's good. Um, anyway, yeah, so I'm looking to get a new monitor because this one's been really dodge. Um, and Tom said, oh, I'll just buy like a new machine because we've got like these to use, but this is my last one. So once I've put this in, then that's it. I'm just going to get a new machine with like test strips because prior to this, I had that and they were more accurate. So if any of you guys out there who are diabetics or use blood glucose, blood, blood sugar machines, let me know um, down below which you think is like the best model to buy or invest in. And also whether you think a Dexcom is worth investing in as well because I don't know if I can get that like on prescription or if there's a way of doing it because um, I know like, it's super expensive to buy the sensors and stuff like that if you don't get it through like a company or through your doctors or whatever so let me know if you think that's something that's worth doing just so I don't have to like prick my finger all the time and then if it's low like it will alert me kind of thing I feel like that might be easy in my situation um, but I don't know. Let me know, guys. Yeah, anyway, I'm going to head to bed now because I'm super exhausted. Um, I didn't update on the pyjamas. I have the bottoms on. They're like the cutest thing. Just look. How freaking cute are these? So cute. Um, so they're so comfortable. I've slept in them. Um, I absolutely love them. The top, however, I didn't like the bow. It reminded me of like literally when I was a child I used to wear vests with little bows at the top. I don't know if you guys wore those when you were younger. I just wasn't feeling it so I might have to unpick the bow that's near the, the top. Because besides that I do like it. I just don't like the bow so I might have to do that tomorrow. And then I'll probably wear it as a set. But for now I've just got my Calvin Klein PJ shirt which is pink so it kind of matches. Uh, it's just a different colour of pink. Anyway guys I hope you're all okay. I am always thinking of you. Um, please do give this vlog a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and hit that subscribe button down below ignore this terrible state of nails at the moment like they all broke off and you guys know how it is once one breaks they all like it's just all downhill from there and I've like been picking at the polish all day trying to get well, all evening trying to get it off but because it's like gel it you have to like soak them if you can't like pe peel it off so anyway that's tomorrow's job, work on my nails. 
Um, but anyway, guys, yeah, I hope you're all okay. Uh, do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and hit that subscribe button. And I shall see you guys tomorrow. Good night.